Yo, 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 what's up with you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Tubalene. I know you guys are having a great day so far. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an insight uh, on what it is you guys want to look for when you guys are uh, going to look for a shop. And uh, this is for the people that are, you know, about to finish barber school. This is for the people that are, uh, you know, maybe they're just starting barber school and they're thinking about the end goal. Obviously, you guys want to work in a shop. And so uh, we're going to get into a little bit of things. We're going to get into the requirements, number one. And uh, two, what are shops looking for in barbers? And number three, uh, what you guys should look, be looking for in a shop. So just because uh, they, the, there's a certain shop you want to go to, you might not know why it is that you want to go to it. Like there, there, there needs to be some reasons to why you want to go there and not a different shop. And it can't really be just because they're charging a certain amount, man. We got to remember that. But we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. Let's go. All right, y'all, so first we're gonna go into the requirements. What do you, what is it that you guys need to be able to work in a shop, man? And obviously you guys, most of you guys know this, you guys need your license, all right? The first thing is your license. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna have to go to barber school. You're gonna have to either do an apprenticeship. Uh, I believe apprenticeships takes about two years and uh, a barber school can take either anywhere from uh, nine months to I think a year and a half or something like that, depending on how many hours you do. Um, so you got to keep that in mind and obviously uh, at the end there needs to, there's gonna be a test you need to go to state board and uh, go ahead and get that done and you have to pass and once you do they'll give you a certification uh, of your license uh, in the state that you're in all right um, but you guys got to remember also uh, different states has different requirements so you're gonna have to look up how many hours uh, of schooling or whatever the case you need to do for that state and uh, just go on the internet and go ahead and search it up or whatever the case and uh, you'll find the ones for you and California it's about 1500 hours which is a thousand five hundred and um, obviously depending on how many hours you do weekly that'll determine uh, you know how fast you graduate and whatever whatever the case um, so that's how you guys are gonna get the requirements to be able to go into a shop and uh, so the second one is what are the things that you want to look for in a shop man so first you know this is more of like an opinion um, because it's an opinion it, it it changes depending on who you are okay your style of cutting what do you like what is it um that you know fits you the most all right for me uh, i'm gonna tell you what fits me the most because this is what i like to do and uh, stuff like that so uh for me um one i i really like a lot of freedom all right you know i want a lot of freedom in the shop uh and what i mean by freedom is like being able to do when i want all right so i can show up when i want i can leave when i want i can uh you know prices there has to be certain amount of prices um so i i don't really care too much about that um but i do want a little bit of freedom on my prices you know where they're not saying hey you need to charge this much and if there is uh you know i, I don't mind it because uh for me it's only going to be a temporary solution at some point i'm gonna open up my own shop um but that is something i would like and if i can't get it well then i just need to remember that uh, that whatever i go to i want to make sure that the price is right for me you know i'm i'm willing to get that much for a haircut um and uh so what are some other things man I, I would really like i think a big one is freedom i really want a winning environment all right i really want people who uh want us to to just challenge each other and get each other a lot even better and, and uh continue to grow I don't really want it to be a competitive shop, man, where I'm like, oh, I'm going to try to take his walk in or I'm going to try to get this and and be better than him. Like, I don't care to be better than anybody. I really want to all grow collectively and be, a, a you know, a team and, you know, just all, all you know, do really good. And because uh, there's, so, there's so much room for all of us to do succeed in this industry. So that's another thing that I really, really am looking for. And like I said, if I cannot get that, I will just make sure when I open my own that that is what I create. So all these things are really from the things that I'm going to do to open up my own. Um, but giving that, I'm going to end up looking for things that are similar because I want to be with barbers that are like-minded. I want to go to barbers that are doing the things that I want to be able to do. You know, I want to set the uh, standards high 
and, uh, and and go reach them because that's the only way I'm going to improve. If I'm with barbers that are not that great or not, they don't care as much on what they do, they don't have the same passion for me, uh, I'm not going to really be able to grow. So uh, you got to keep that in mind. And that's a situation where I want to put myself in a winning spot where I can really grow and uh, learn a lot, man. I really want to th be that to be my environment. But in order to get a really good barber shop, you also have to remember you have to be a really good candidate. So what does that mean? So if I want a lot of freedom and I want to do all these things like I'm mentioning, um, and, and you want good barbers in your shop, the only way you're going to get good barbers in your shop is if you're getting those good, good incentives, right? Um, and same thing goes for you know a barber. If you want a good shop, you have to bring that with you. You have to bring, be a good barber. You have to have bring all that stuff with you. And so this is going to go into what is the shops looking for, okay? Um, what are the shops going to be looking for? They're going to be looking for one. You feel me? Are are you are you doing the things that you need to be doing um, in and out the shop, man? Are are you responsible? Are you locking up the shop? Are you uh, you know going there early? Um, are are you grinding your day out? Are you are you have a really good work ethic? Are you doing a lot? Are you you want? Are you a clean barber? Like all these things really really matter, and. Uh, and you have to have something to offer them. And there, so there's a lot that you can do, man. So, um, you know, do you pay your booth rent on time? Do you do all these things? Um, you know, have you built up a little bit of clientele already? You know what I mean? That's a big one that they look for. They don't want somebody that's just um, these really good barbershops. You know, some of them might take a chance on you, but you never know. You have to have some good clientele already. That way, you know, you're still busy and you're able to pay the bills. You know what I mean? So um, that's another one. Uh, you know, our, the first, the one, most important one is probably going to be your haircut. Is your haircut really that good? And if it is, you know, you're going to stand out a lot. They're going to be like, all right, cool. Like, you know, I want you in here. Um, you're not going to go into a high paint shop where they charge 30 or 40 bucks um, if you're doing whatever haircuts, you know. You're going to end up going to the 20s, maybe even $15 shop. So you have to remember quality is everything. And if you guys are in a position where you guys are getting ready to go into a shop in the next couple of months or, you know, you're going to get your license soon, focus on your quality of your haircuts. Make sure that they're up to par. That way, when you do get your license and uh, you reach out to some of these shops, uh, you like, like I said, you have something to offer. You know, they look at it and they're like, yo, I need this guy in my shop. You know what I mean? He's nice. He's going to bring a lot of good uh, good eyeballs, you know what I mean? People are going to be like, yo, that haircut's fire. They're going to speak good about the shop. And uh, that's what every owner wants. So um, if you're bringing all these things, uh, you're going you're gonna to be in a situation where you're going to have a really good shop, you're going to have really good barbers, and it's just going to be a perfect mix, all right? Um, uh, but you do want to be picky, man. You don't want to just jump into it and be like, hey, man, let's, uh, let's you know, go into the shop. Because there's, there's already... Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've already gotten offers to shops and I haven't got my license yet. And uh, the reason why is because I feel like they're just trying to fill up their booth. You know, they just want the money. They don't care too much about uh, all the little stuff. You know, although they see my haircuts and they see I'm probably worthy of uh, working in the shop, um, you know, they're just they're just probably looking some for somebody to fill the chair. And so uh, I'm a, I'm being picky on where it is I'm gonna choose. You know what I mean? I'm going to be like, all right, who, who who do I like? Who do I want to be around and all that stuff? And uh, that's really going to help you guys choose the shop that you guys want to go to. Um, but remember, guys, this is all a journey, man. You go through step by step. Um, but this is the things that I found and the things that I've asked questions to, you know, because I, I know a lot of shop owners and uh, I've asked them plenty of questions, what they look for and stuff like that. And uh, they really want somebody that's hardworking, man, that's going to show up and uh, that, that's just going to be all, all around, you know, a great barber man that that don't care to sweep and and do all these little things that really really matter you know what i mean you know some people think they're too good for that and uh some people just want to be competitive and they want to take other people's clients and uh and they get butthurt about it and it's just you know things like that are going to happen but um do you you want to be in an environment where you guys all grow and you guys all get um better and farther into your your career um as a barber so uh I, I definitely don't want to be surrounded with like competitive barbers where they're thinking like I'm their competition. I'd rather be all collectively getting to a position where we all want to be. Um, that's that's the motive and goal for me within my shop. But if you guys take anything, uh, please drop a like button. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, please, please, please. Uh, my video's been taking a little hit lately and it's all right, but uh, the video is going to keep coming to y'all. It won't, won't stop. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Uh, as far as it's been, it's too bling. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. 
Hope you guys have a great rest of your guys' day. And it's going to be a, a haircut tutorial. That one's definitely going to be dope. I'm putting a lot of time into it, and that's why uh, today wasn't a haircut tutorial. But keep in mind, uh, this is going to come to you guys soon. And uh, as soon as you guys uh, get it, let me know how you guys feel about it, all right? Peace out. It's Tublin one more time, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.